In this video, we're going to explore how to create an alpha release for Android in the Google Play Developer Console. We'll take a quick look at a couple of summary bullet points and then we're going to jump right in. So why do we want to do an alpha release? Well, we might want to distribute our application to a select group of users or a group of users who we define who can give us some direct feedback before we release it to the public. That means we can test with more brains and more hands. When you write an app by yourself, you tend to follow the same approach, and you don't tend to press all the buttons or go in the same order that somebody else will. So an alpha release lets you see what other people are going to do as well. It also lets you try out some things that are harder to test with the emulator. Uh, the camera, that can be, you know, you can use your webcam, you can use an emulated camera, but on an actual device you can go take a walk and take a picture of something in nature that's not so easy to do with your laptop. Uh, same with GPS, you can simulate that in the emulator, but uh, what about trying out the real thing? Network latency, other things like that. And then once you're happy with it, you can release to production. So what are the steps? The first one is the most easy to forget, and that is to increment the build number. And then we build a release AAB or APK, depending on how we want to distribute. Create the release within the Google Play Developer Console. Add a description to the release, and then add the testers, and then publish. If we're happy with the results, we can take that release, and we can move it straight into production as well. So, let's get started. First of all, uh, updating the release. Uh, now we do it in build.gradle. We used to do it in Android Manifest, but now that's something we do in build.gradle, so we'll go ahead and do like so. Next, we need to do our uh, generate sign bundle or APK. Let's go ahead and start that. APK is what we used for many, many years deploying an Android application, and it's essentially kind of like a zip file, a jar file, or an executable, depending on what, uh, what you're used to. The trick is that APKs take the entire app and bundle it together regardless of the destination hardware. Tablet, TV, where? Phone? Where an Android app bundle is a little bit smarter. It can send down, it can create essentially an APK on the fly from the developer console. And then it can send down only the resolution files and the language files that are appropriate for that user. And it can shrink the app size a bit. I noticed my own app went from about 4 megabyte to about 3.5 megabyte when I did this. Although I did some other cleanup as well, so that's not necessarily a direct number. But nonetheless, Android app bundle. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Uh, put all the goodies in here and then next and we'll go ahead and I'm going to copy this because I know I'm going to need it in just a minute and finally we'll choose finish. We'll let it run for just a few moments. Now after a bit of computing we get generate sign bundle generated successfully and I come back over and I can see that the Android app bundle has indeed generated successfully. Now I'm going to take this path and I'm going to go to the Play Store. Uh, so the play console. So I've already logged in here and this is an existing app plant places mobile So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to go to release management and I'm going to choose app releases Scroll down a little bit and we see that we have a production track Which is what users currently can see and can download we have beta uh, Which is where we can make it available to an audience for testing and we don't have to predefine who that audience is That's why it's called open then we have alpha, which is our closed track. Now, I've already created an alpha release I did a couple days ago just to try to test a couple things out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit manage here. And the process is going to be similar whether you've already created one or not. Um, this, you just can see the one that I did earlier. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose create release. Okay. Uh, I've already done some app signing to let Google go ahead and create the APK for me. So that's something I've set up previously. If you've not done that, uh, if you're deploying an APK, you don't need to do it. If you're deploying an Android app bundle, you will need to uh, do a little bit of work there. It's pretty straightforward, but you're essentially just saying that Google can create an APK from your Android app bundle and Google can sign it, given that you've given some credentials to Google saying that you're the rightful owner and you're giving them this permission. So now we go down and we say, okay, Android app bundles and APKs to add. This is where I get a little bit nervous. I'm going to choose browse files and, uh, oh, nice, it's already there. I'm going to select and choose open. It takes a few moments to upload and only at the end it will tell you if it was successful or not, including whether or not you incremented your build number, which like I say, is probably one of the easiest things to forget. Uh, any other issues it has, it will let you know here as well. Uh, so it looks pretty good. Take a look. The version code 19, uh, app download size, notice it's variable because it is an AAB. 
Uh, I can deactivate these. Um, that doesn't really matter. Uh, release name 19.1. Uh, what's new in this release? I'll just go ahead and copy from my... Uh, yeah, we'll copy from the 18.1 refactor. There we go. Uh, so refactor for a smaller, more efficient footprint, update security features. Okay, we look pretty good right now. So I'm going to choose save and I'm going to choose review. Okay. And uh, it let's see, it looks like it automatically deactivated 18. That's fine because 19 is just some bug fixes I found on top of 18. Um, we will go ahead and start rollout to alpha. Now you see uh, with our rollout to alpha, we have managed testers. And so I'm going to click down here and Alpha Testers is a group uh, that I have already created with uh, me and one other person. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward to test. But nonetheless, you can just go in here and hit edit and essentially add any kind of like a, a Gmail address and it will invite those individuals to be testers. Notice you can also upload a CSV file, which is pretty handy if you have maybe a company or a, a large list of testers you'd like to have. Notice as I scroll down, there's this opt-in URL, and this is what I can distribute to my testers to have them load the app. So we open that in a new page, and you notice that, okay, here we go, plantplaces.com mobile. It says, welcome to the testing program, you're a tester. Uh, now, what's interesting here is that, uh, take a look at these first couple of lines here. You'll receive an update to the plantplaces.com mobile app if you already have it installed on your device. Well, that's my case because I have the older version, the 17 version, uh, installed on my app. And then uh, last night I updated it with an alpha release on 18. Uh, tonight it will update again with an alpha release for 19, the release that we just made together. So I'm going to go ahead and let nature take its course there. I'm just going to leave my phone and I'm going to let it update overnight. And then I'll start testing it out. On the other hand, if I were new to this, uh, if this is a brand new app, I'd have to go down and install it initially myself. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to go ahead and let that run. And then we'll see if everything works out well on this 19.1 release. We can release to production, which means this alpha release then becomes a production release that the general public can consume. So I'll tell you what I'll do with the magic of video. I'll go ahead and pause this now. Wait about 24 hours. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll see if we're ready to release to production. Guess what? It's tomorrow. About 24 hours has passed since I recorded the part of the video up to this point. And today happens to be a Friday, so I am glad it is tomorrow. Uh, testing went well. I want to show you a couple different things here. Uh, first of all, my device and then a beta tester's device that's not mine. Uh, this is my device that already had the production version of plantplaces.com mobile installed on it. When I went to info, so you, you do like a long tap and then you go to app info. If we scroll to the bottom, it's kind of faint down here, but you can see version 18.1. That's what my app looked like before I did the alpha release on yesterday's video. I did the alpha release and then plugged in my phone. It was on Wi-Fi, went to bed, woke up in the morning, and guess what? Sure enough, it had updated automatically to 19.1. So you see that that alpha release updated it while I was asleep, I didn't have to take any special action uh, since I already had it installed. One of the beta testers I have uh, did not already have it installed, which was good because I wanted to test out some of the initializ initialization procedures. So I took a screen capture from her phone. And if we take a look at this, uh, she had to follow a link to go to the Google Play Store. And notice that it says beta here. Uh, so. Uh, somehow her account was removed from the time that I added it. It was removed. We had to add it back again. But nonetheless, we scrolled down and said, enter the beta testing program. She installed it. I verified it was the right one. Ran through all the features and everything looked great. So, okay, let's take a look now at the uh, Play Store listing for plainplaces.com. And again, this is one that's been out for a little while. So some details on it. Um, you see the current version in production is 17.1. That's the last one I released. I released it probably about a month ago, the last full production release. Then I did 18.1, which I put into alpha testing. I found a few bugs in it. And then fix that, 19.1 is the one that I released last night. So what we want to do now is we want to take this alpha release and make it the production release. So I go back to my play console and I'm going to go to app releases. And I'm going to go to the alpha track and choose manage and take a look. I'll tell you as an Android developer, this is a really exciting time when you push something out to production, a little bit of hesitation, but nonetheless, it's very exciting. So let's go ahead and click this release to production. Scroll down, make sure everything looks good. 
And then we're going to go ahead and choose Review. Review and Rollout. We see our uh, APK19 is replacing the APK17, so in other words, one app bundle added, one APK deactivated. Part of this upgrade from version 17 for me was going from an APK to an AAB. It is interesting. Take a look at the difference in size, 3.92 megabyte to 3.24 to 3.50. I will say I cleaned up some code too. I, I deleted some classes I was no longer using, took out some resources. So that's not all related to the AAB, but you do see the AAB make, makes a significant difference. Uh, so let's go ahead and say start rollout to production. Now notice that we're in the production release here. We have a bit of uh, confirmation. Release 19.1 seconds ago, full rollout promoted from alpha 19.1. So you see we put this in the alpha and now it's ready to release. It will take a few moments for the uh, Play Store to update and I generally find it, uh, it takes a good 24 hours, usually about overnight before it starts automatically updating on devices that are set to do that. But nonetheless, you see, in this video, we have walked through the entire process of building the application, submitting it to Alpha, adding testers, and then we come back after testing and we've released it to production. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.